Hello you beautiful people and welcome to today's video which is another sketchbook tour and I know that you guys are enjoying those the most. <laughs> so yeah, um, this sketchbook was sent to me by my good friend uh, Motko and it's a watercolor sketchbook and I stuck this cute little panda on the front and I unfortunately don't know who the artist is because this was part of the random sticker pack I bought or my wife bought for us so um, yeah did I mention this is an Arteza sketchbook I'm such a fangirl <laughs> oh my gosh so um, let's get started so when did I actually Ooh, this is landscape format so it's a bit weird to film but we're gonna manage that so um, I started this on the 21st of August 2019 and finished it on the 26th of September 2019 and I drew myself um, I need to mute my discord app Jeez, guys, I, I can't right now. I'm sorry. So, um, I drew myself, my cat, and our dog, and a spider because our house is made of spider webs, apparently. So, <laughs> um, yeah, this paper, by the way, has um, spreads that are double sided, and one side is always smooth, and one side is always rough. So just to keep in mind, so by the way, um, I'm just censoring this, this is my email address and here you can um, put your information and if your sketchbook gets lost you can write your address in there. So I think we did this together. Um, I link the video somewhere, I don't know where, um, maybe in an info card, maybe in the description, I don't know yet. So um, this is the character design I did with the tools, Motko always, um, <laughs> not always, but Motko um, very kindly sent me and this is the character I made up for that. So. I'm sorry, I have to slide. I don't want to zoom out so much so you can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so some swatches and some tests like how watercolor behaves and it behaves quite nicely. And I was also very, very happy that the Penta pocket brush works really nicely on this paper. So I drew my cat. And this is me with my wife making pizza dough and I'm a bit too too dumb to do that. <laughs> and she's laughing at me like a good wife does. So our cat Mephisto again. And yeah, I tried out another pen. But what what is this noise? Oh, oh, oh my lamp, no, dude, what's wrong with you? I think it's better now, <laughs> so, um, this is my elf, Eleanor, who, um, what was I saying? I wanted to say that this pen was not waterproof and I wanted to, like, um, use it to drag the color into these areas, but it didn't work. <laughs> obviously um, yeah my my elf Eleanor who's a part of the comic I have online on tapas and my patreon and yeah this is when we went to flying tiger <laughs> um, in a city one hour away and I drew this church tower and a little building and some clouds and Here's some um, um, practice with my old 
wash set. This is not the one from Arteza. This is the one from Dalla Rowney. Yeah, I'm not, not a huge fan of it, but it could be worse. So, uh, yeah. Character of my wife. My character, character of my wife. This is Annie from an RP we have. A little story we write. It's not like... I don't know. <laughs> we just have our OCs and then we write a story together. It's more like that. So, yeah, Leslie and Oswin from the comic. She's just from this other story. We have like thousands <laughs> of stories that we write. So, yeah, um, Danger Noodles. What was that? I hate a noise. My wife in the kitchen, I don't know. So, um, Danger Noodles, I think I referenced them from Pinterest. I also referenced this, um, this staircase, I'm, I remember. Um, and then I added this little monster coming down the stairs. So, I like this page as well. Um, Hannes and Kurt from another of those 1000 stories and this is Trish from the comic. Uh, I can't wait until she appears. Yes! <laughs> I'm very excited. So... I update every Sunday by the way. So... I really like this, this shark. <laughs> I also referenced it from Pinterest I guess and then made a cartoon shark out of it and I really like how this paper takes um, watercolors and I think I would uh, buy this sketchbook again it's really nice so this is me um, having short hair and a flower this is Betsy and Jane from the comic and Leslie and my werewolf character Hank I really like putting these flats on top of um, on top of pencil because it also seals the pencil, so you don't have to fixate them. The pencils, I mean. So yeah. Um. Yeah. Here's the tired Leslie and Oswin and Jamie. Here am I bathing in coffee in the help to make myself more awake. <laughs> um, my very old character Crea tried to stylize her. She's very old, over 10 years I guess. Lastly, I think I used Ecoline ink for this. Another character from the comic. Um, he has appeared recently oh and here's this weird this weird streak I think this is where the reading ribbon laid during transport so it made this mark when I went over it uh, with paint but it did not show before I painted so that was funny so here we have my character Terence I really like how watercolors look in this and now that I'm looking back at this sketchbook, I definitely would buy this one myself. It's really cool. I'm such a fangirl and I'm so sorry for that, but it's hard to find art supplies that suit my needs. So that that suits <laughs> that fit my needs. So yeah. My character Lina. Um yeah, a day on the beach, um, my version of Sigin and Loki, and here's more of these two. Um, I have to say, I have to, I have to tell a little story, <laughs> okay. So a while ago I started to, I started to um, scan in my sketchbooks, so I just made this experiment this year. But for some reason I fill them very quickly as you may have noticed and um, with this full-time job I have it takes so much time to scan these and it felt not right 
for some reason. Um, I don't know, I, I felt like my sketchbooks weren't my own and I could not draw very personal things in them. So I kind of went through a little art low <laughs> um, in the beginning of the next sketchbook. And um, I have made the decision that I am going to stop scanning them in because it's just so much stress for me and it takes away so much of my creativity somehow and I don't know I'm, I'm going to stop putting these on Gumroad and I'm going to stop putting these on Patreon but I'm still going to make a little photo collection of these um, censored sketches uncensored for my Patreon so patrons so um, yeah that's the plan and I feel very much lighter now that I've made this decision. It was definitely the right one, but I'm all alone. <laughs> but I'm also very happy that I tried it. So I really wanted to try it and I tried it and it was not for me. So I'm going to stop scanning them and then just put online the uncensored sketches for my Patreon. So yeah. Oh yeah, um, this is me and this is my character Hades. He is like a very old necromancer and in the universe where he lives. A necromancer can make certain contracts with um, demons and gods and something like that. And the more contracts you have, the more weird you start to look. So he's very old, he's made a lot of them, so he looks rather strange. My witch sinister. This is me and my wife um, having a little drawing date in the city, having a little coffee, but it was very hot and we were melting. And yeah, I really like this lettering. I think this is. Um, character of my wife. <laughs> I think this is Else, I think. I, I do think. Is it her? I think I, I drew her. Well, I should start to write the names beside them. So he is Leslie being dramatic with Finlay. Oh boy, I have forgotten who this is. <laughs> okay, um, oh my gosh. Who was this supposed to be? I have like, my brain is like, a, like a piece of cheese. And here's cat hair. Nice. So, here drew her again. Who was this supposed to be? Oh my gosh. Oh, I know who this was. I know. I remember this. Oh, yes. This is an OC of mine. I remember you. I wanted to redesign her. Yes, I remember now. So this is a little self-portrait that looks a little off, I think. Um, yeah. Here's my character, Natalie, with her familiar Sumarel and a weird monster. And yeah, once again, um, I think here is where the reading ribbon did lay in the other direction coming from above and then it folded over to the other page where this weird mark is. I don't know if you can see it on camera. So I have to drink something. I'm sorry. Much better. Okay. So, um, here's my character Terry with his little demon familiar Luan, who was created by my wife. I love him. He's adorable. He's a weird cat and I love him so much. Alright, so, um, here's some more of myself. Here is Todd and his mother Rosalind. Here's Janie and Mouse, and here I did a little experiment with gouache again, and it is made with 
the Arteza gouache, I think. Yes, it is. And yeah, I like it. It did not look, or it does not look like the reference I used, but it's fine. I like the outcome. A reference is just a reference, you know? You don't have to copy it 100%. You could take a photo of it if you would like to do that. So, um some random sketches of a random girl traveling with her dog some sketches of Betsy I have the problem that I personally find her face too young sometimes and sometimes she, she is not distinguishable from Jane when I have like black and white sketches or monochrome sketches so I really want to change that and make her design a bit more unique so here's a page where I tried that oh yeah my babies um this is Rosalind and this is Leslie when he was younger and he's her brother if you did not know and she has died in a car accident with her husband and Leslie is now taking care of her son Todd since he's a baby and this is what the comic is partly about. Just... I'm not spoiling anything about that. It's pretty much said from the beginning that she's not there anymore. So, Oh yeah, um, this is when I made the comparison between the Dalaroni Simply Gouache and the Arteza Premium Gouache and yeah I was told that maybe I used too much water in this one but I can't, cannot agree with that to be honest because um, I some of these strokes I made were straight from the tube and they are still transparent so I'm not a fan of these gouache paints so yeah <laughs> it's my opinion Oh yeah, um, yeah, this was me drawing myself and some Trish and Betsy and the smooth side of this paper does not like um, colored pencils very much so it looks, I don't know, not that good. And here's some Leslie and the cat. Kind of like this pose. And my character Lillian and Terrence, I really like this expression. <laughs> Um, yeah, Trish and Oswin and myself. And myself again, being tired. Um, I think this was also in a sea of mine. And Leslie, I really like his face here. And my character Gabriel, who's a vampire as well, but not from this comic, so some Todd. I think I forgot to send her something. Alright. Let's let's do that now. I know it's mean. But I wanna give something to my Patreon, so it's naked people in my sketchbook. Yeah, I think that works. So, um, this side of the paper is rather rough, but colored pencils work pretty nicely in my honest opinion. I really enjoy enjoyed um, using them on this side. This is my character Bastion. This is a character by my wife. And some Betsy. And it can see half her breast, so it's not that mean, I mean. So, some lastly, and this girl randomly, ooh, randomly, me happy that it's Sunday. And yeah, I really like how colorful most of these sketches are. Oh, Zero. <laughs> I kind of messed up his face, in my opinion, but. You know, there is no such thing as too many books, I agree. But I also have started to kind of um, 
declutter my books a bit and my old manga and comics and stuff so I give away the ones I know that I won't read a second time so somebody else can have them and have fun with them. My cat Mephisto. Again. Oh yeah, somebody spilled some cherry juice and um, yeah, I was contemplating what I wanted to do for my new intro and some sketches just just for fun. Yeah. Oh, um, my character Matt from the comic being in his nerdy little room and reading something, I guess. Here's Matt with Viola and Todd. These two, uh, <laughs> these three are like best friends and this is the friend group together they are all very nerdy and here's myself happy about it being Friday I again forgot to like what the heck man I'm, I was not concentrated when I started to censor this Grabbing some sticky notes. I'm so professional here. Like, where are you, girl? Come on, can't, can't do that. That's for the patrons. So, <laughs> some inspirational quote for me. And this lady. And. I have a sticky note now in my hand, so I can just stick it on if I find another naked person. So, um, yeah, Terrence, a random cat, me and Mephisto, um, Bastion again. Oh yeah, my dog was like, hey, it's 6am on Sunday, I need to pee, yay. <laughs> like that when you have a dog <laughs> oh yeah Trish and Leslie and some doggies I like this one it's a little fluffy boy Oswin with the bird and yeah Terry and Betsy and I was starting to have my little art crisis around here, like I was not happy with how things turned out at all, so I guess besides this, this was pretty nice, <laughs> so um, yeah, this is Viola reading a book in her room and some dogs. Yeah, some motivational stuff for myself. Yeah, and Joshua and Bastion. And Rosalind and Mephisto. I was just... I was alright, but I just was not 100% happy, like... I felt off, kind of. Me with some coffee. <laughs> and some selfies I like when I don't know really what to draw I draw myself so um, not that you think I'm like very much in love with my 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 avatar or something but I just when I don't know what to draw I just draw a selfie it's just simple as that so here's a dude with some leaves and some random faces and this is the end. This is Ecoline Ink, by the way. Um, yeah, this is it already. Oh my. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so, some swatches I made. And this is the info of the...
sketchbook, a sketch of Beelzebub from um, Good Omens, in my own interpretation. <laughs> Yeah, this is the info. If you wanna read it, you can pause or something. And um, there's also a piece of paper in here. This is a plastic pocket where you can just um, yeah put your stuff in. I don't have that many things to put in besides some cat hair, but you know. <laughs> So, um, yeah, this was it. What I also really found funny is that the the band has like this see-through part in the middle. It's like very funny. So, yeah, that's it. Um, this is the sketchbook tour. I think it's the sixth one already. Uh, yeah, and I thank you very much for watching and we see each other next time, and until we do, please do something that makes you happy. Bye bye!